The rest of your talent points should be spent according to your playing style. If you use Renew a lot, it's most beneficial for you to pick up Improved Renew and 3 out of 3 Empowered Renew, of course. If you use a lot of Flash Heal, you may fare best with Empowered Healing. If you favor the Heavy Raid Heals and Prayer Spells, you'll do best with a combination of Test of Faith and Blessed Resilience. If you like Versatility, you may want Body and Soul or Light Well. Finding a spec that works for you is the most important part past picking up the staple talents. This also goes for Glyphs. There are a total of 5 useful Major Holy Glyphs that you should pick from depending on your playing style. Those are Glyph of Circle of Healing, Glyph of Prayer of Healing, Glyph of Flash Heal, Glyph of Guardian Spirit, and Glyph of Renew. Glyph of Circle of Healing should not be missing in any priest setup, but the other two should depend on which spells you cast the most. Glyph of Renew is debatable since it does increase the healing per tick, but Renew only has 5 ticks as is, and pushing it down to 4 will have you struggling to keep it up on multiple targets. Minor glyphs will not directly affect your throughput or efficiency, but Glyph of Levitate and Glyph of Fortitude are usually good picks for convenience. Also, Glyph of Shadow Fiend is moderately useful if you tend to summon the bugger in the wrong moment, and it dies instantly to some sort of annoying AoE. That about covers glyphs. Next up, let's talk about gearing and what you should aim for. As one of three cloth caster classes, you'll always face gear competition. It's all the more important to know what you want and look for in gear. Lots of stats are good for us. I'll list them in the order of how I rate their importance. First up, Intellect. Then Spell Power. Then Spirit. Then Crit and Haste Rating. Then MP5. And then Stamina. Since Wrath of the Lich King, Intellect has been the most potent and useful region stat we have. Not only does it enlarge your mana pool, it also greatly affects how much mana you regenerate from Replenishment, Shadow Fiend, and Hymn of Hope. Increases your critical strike rating, around 150 intellect equal 1% critical strike rating, and gives you additional MP5 based on your total spirit and intellect. Spell Power is the easiest and most straightforward throughput stat. The more spell power, the bigger your yields. Also, the bigger your heals, the bigger your overheals, but on the whole, spell power is the most direct throughput increase you can get. Spirit used to be the go-to priest stat, but it's gotten nerfed time and time again. Still, with meditation, which allows 50% of your mana regeneration to continue while casting, and spiritual guidance, which increases spell power by 25% of your total spirit, spirit remains an important and useful stat for any holy priest. As a rule of thumb, every 11 points of spirit equal 4 MP5 and 2.75 spell power, but your total number of intellect also affects this. Critical strike rating is a mix of a throughput and a region stat. The more you crit, the bigger your heals, the bigger your throughput. But with Holy Concentration and Surge of Light, critical heals also proc direct and indirect mana regeneration, and of course inspiration. There really is no soft cap where crit starts becoming less useful, but you also don't want to forget about haste. We have a lot of instant spells at our disposal, and while it's always nice to have a lower global cooldown, where haste really shines are spells with longer cast times such as Prayer of Healing and Greater Heal. As mentioned, you won't be using Greater Heal much, but a faster Prayer of Healing and Flesh Heal cast is always valuable. Priests are very torn on the crit versus haste debate. Some swear by stacking haste, some by stacking crit, and yet again others prefer a mix. What I suggest for every new and old priest out there alike is to pick up crit pieces until you're comfortable with your average number of holy concentration and surge of light procs. Remember that crit percentage, and then stack haste past that. As your gear gets better, naturally both crit and haste will go up, so you will have more leeway in either direction. I could also tell you to aim for 30% crit and 20% haste raid buffed, which are generally accepted thresholds, but to find the balance that's right for you, you'll have to do some experimenting on your own. MP5 is a soul regen stat. Unlike intellect and spirit, it doesn't increase your throughput in any way, shape or form, which is the main reason it's less desirable than the other two. You shouldn't aim to gear for MP5 unless you happen to pick up a piece of gear that's a general upgrade over your old piece. As for stamina, we all need it. Stamina automatically goes up as your gear level increases. Unless your gear level is way below the level of content you're doing, you'll pretty much always have enough for it, so I wouldn't bother gemming or enchanting for it. 
While we are already on the topic of enchants and jamming, let's cover that. Holy Priest enchants are very straightforward. I'll list what's generally considered the best choice for each slot. On your hat, you should have an Arcanum of Burning Mysteries, the 30 spell power and 20 critical strike rating enchant, available at the current Hulk Quartermaster at Revered Reputation. Alternatively, you may prefer the Arcanum of Blissful Mending, which adds 30 spell power and 10 MP5, and is available at the Wormrest Accord Quartermaster, also at Revered Reputation. As for your shoulder enchant, Greater Inscription of the Storm, which adds 24 spell power and 15 critical strike rating, and is available at the Sons of Hodir Quartermaster, Quartermaster at Exalted Reputation, would be your number one choice, or alternatively, Greater Inscription of the Crack, same place and rep. On your back, if you're a tailor, you should go for a dark glow embroidery, otherwise 23 haste. On your chest, 10 stats would be your best choice. As far as wrists are concerned, 30 spell power is the supreme bracer enchant. On your weapon, you should have 63 spell power for one hander, 81 for a staff. 28 spell power is pretty much the only useful caster enchant to gloves, so you should aim to get that on your hands. As for your legs, Brilliant Spell Thread, which is 50 spell power and 20 spirit, is your go-to option. On your feet, you should have Tusker's Vitality, which adds 15 stamina and a slight run speed increase, or alternatively 18 spirit. As far as jamming goes, there are different ways to jam your character. You can stack just one stat that you are lacking or that you favor and neglect all others, or you can choose to jam for socket bonuses. I personally prefer to jump for socket bonuses using luminous amatrons and purified dreadstones. That way, I stack up on intellect, spell power, and spirit, the three stats that are most important for my playing style. I would not suggest jamming for crit or haste unless you're absolutely crazy for either stat or somehow have a big deficit. It's almost always a better choice to jam for intellect than crit, and you could pick up plenty of haste on gear S's. There are several meta gems that you may find interesting. Widely considered as the best choice for healers is the insightful Earth Siege Diamond, which gives you 21 intellect and has a chance to restore 600 mana on spell cast. That effect, assuming you cast a spell about every 2 seconds, nets around 75 MP5 on average. Other valid choices would be Beaming Earth Siege Diamond, which gives you 21 critical strike rating and 2% mana, or Ember Sky Flare Diamond, which gives 25 spell power and 2% intellect. That about covers the basics of successful priesting. Thanks for watching this movie. As always, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers, so if you'd like to learn more about that, just click the second link in the movie information box.